You don't need to shoot with analog camera. You can emulate filmic look with your digital camera too, which is perfect. You can enjoy the benefits of the digital camera while you have a filmic look. Hi guys, I'm Peter here and today I will show you my recipe how I emulate film look on digital pictures in Lightroom. First, let me tell you why you feel that retro feeling. In the past, we used analog films in our cameras instead of the sensor. It works with chemicals, which is sensitive to the light. Chemicals behave differently than digital sensors, so that provides that unique analog characteristics. There are five different unique signs which usually shows on analog pictures. Number one, glow or blooming. Number two, halation. Number three, grain. Number four, color tone and contrast. Number five, lack of extreme sharpness. I will explain it later. If you apply all of this to your pictures correctly, it will be like analog film. Mainly I edit my pictures in Lightroom, it's an awesome software, but it has some missing features. There are no halation or glow tools, which is very important in film emulation. But there is a great solution which can let you easily do halation and glow, and much more inside of Lightroom. It's a plugin called Dehancer. I will show you how does it work and tell you the pros and cons. After the installation you can use Dehancer if you right click and edit in and edit in Dehancer Lightroom plugin. If you click on it a pop-up window shows up and I usually pick the first one. Edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments. You can see my copy file options and edit. It will create a TIFF file. Then you can see the Dehancer plugin is opened. Sometimes Dehancer is not opening at this point and I figured out if you're using special characters when you name the folders which contains your pictures, the Dehancer is not opening. So you have to rename your folders and use only English alphabet and it will work properly. But if you go further, if you open Dehancer, you will see this. In the left side you can see a lot of popular film profiles, it's like presets in Lightroom, so you can choose that you prefer. And if you don't want to use it, just click to the checkbox and you can disable it. You can set the film type, I leave it on all films. I usually use Fujicolor Pro 400H or Kodak Gold 200, because those made to do portraits. So the skin colors are pretty good on those. My new favorite is Kodak R Color 4. 125 because it's a little bit desaturated and moody and I really like this moody look but you can check the profiles there are a lot of good ones like Kodak Ektachrome E100 or Cinesteel 800T these are pretty good you can see the push and pull EV slider which emulates that you overexposed or underexposed the picture it's interesting because the films working differently than digital pictures with digital pictures, if you overexpose, the image will be brighter, and if you are underexposed, the image will be darker. But in film, if you over or underexpose, the picture can change the colors, the contrast, and it behaves very different than digital pictures. I usually leave it as it was, but you can play with it. In the right side, you can see a lot of panels with sliders in it. So let's start with the source panel. You can change the exposure, the temperature, and the tint there. And the different and different radius, it's the chromatic aberration. Usually I leave it as it was. Next one is film developer. Basically there you can normalize the image to make it more flexible for further processing. Contrast boost and gamma correction, color separation and color boost. Next one is film compression. It's a very useful tool. Usually on film the highlights are clipping much later than digital camera. So this tool is compressed down the highlights and you can adjust the compression values here. Impact, white point, tonal range and color density. Next one is expand. You can set here the black and the white points, which means you can control the contrast with the brightness of the blacks and whites. So if I pull down the black point, it will leave the dark parts, but you can reset it with double clicking. Next one is print. Film emulation is consists of two parts. First, when you select the profile, like Kodak 200 Gold, the emulation of the negative, and the second part is the printing, when you print your image to real paper. And here you can make some adjustments, like add some exposure, or contrast, or color density, or saturation. Next one is color head. It basically adds some color to the picture, and you can set the added color exposure, and the impact, which is the balance between the original and the edited one. 
Next one is film grain, which is a very important effect in film emulation. The grainy dehancer is very unique because of two things. First, it's not the typical grain, which is usually black and white in Lightroom. You can get colored grain, which sells the effect more, because if you take colored pictures, the grain needs to be colored too. It's more realistic. Second, here you can adjust the grain in specific exposure values, like in the highlights or in the shadows. So I can say that I want less grain in the mid-tones. So the grain will not mess up the skin tones, but it looks good in the dark areas. The film grain can blend the picture together, because it connects different parts gently with texture, and it looks so good. Next panel is halation. This is another very important effect in film ablation. Halation basically is a reddish outline in the high contrast areas like edges. You also can't do this in Lightroom. So this plugin is a very great solution for this purpose. If you want to emulate film, this is a necessary part. This can make your image alive. I really like this effect. Usually I like the basic settings and I adjust only the impact slider. You can check the changes with this checkbox. You can see it's much better. And if you want to see only the effect, you can see this with this mask mode. You can see here. Now it shows only the halation. Next panel is Bloom. This is the third most important effect in film emulation. In Lightroom there is no way to do this like the Hanser. Bloom is basically a soft light spread around the highlights. Like if you saw Star Wars movies, you can see this effect around the lightsaber. Usually I satisfied with the original settings, I only adjust the impact slider. But if you need, you can adjust the levels where the effect applies, or the spread of the light and a lot more. You can see only the effect with this mask mode again. Toggle on and off. And our last panel is vignette. It's like normal vignette effect. You can adjust the values, like the smoothness, or the size, or the shape. You can do here, or you can do in Lightroom, it depends on you. After it, you can see the before and after with the preview box in the top. Now I have good news for you. You don't have to do it from zero every time. If you are satisfied with your settings, you can save as a preset in Dehancer. If you click to the presets option and click to the plus button, you can save your settings with the name that you choose or leave it as it was. Click add preset. You can easily access to your previous settings, so you can adjust them if you need to. Let's say it's completed. So click the OK button in the top of the right and it creates you a copy with the new adjustments. Here is the original picture and here is my new copy with the adjustments. Let's see another one. And I pick the Grandi preset. You can use presets before using the answer, so you don't have to do it with just only the original picture. So right click, edit in, edit in Dehancer Lightroom plugin. Edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments. And now you can see Dehancer is running and here is my Fujicolor Pro 400H preset. And if I click here, it applies. It loads my previous settings, but if I want to adjust something, I can easily do that. But if I don't want to apply film profiles, I can go to the Profiles tab and turn off the film profile. And if you're satisfied with the results, click the OK button. Let's see this one. Right click, edit in, enhance the Lightroom. OK, here is the original one. And let's pick my Fujicro Pro. Preset. It's a little bit too contrasty. I bring down the contrast here and the color density. And bring down the saturation. You can see the halation is okay now. The bloom too. And the vignette is okay. And here is the before and after. Then press the OK button. Before. And after. Let's see another one. Here is the original. Right click, edit in the answer Lightroom. And here is the original. And I applied my preset. It can do a great job with nature pictures too. And it looks so good now. Just one click. And OK. You can see the before and after. 
and the last one here is the original one and here is my preset it's a little bit too much color so I change it and I'm satisfied with the results before and after and here is a new mobile version for iOS there you can find all the features that I mentioned before there are some presets if you want to use it and you can find the source panel, film panel, developer menu, compression so you can find everything and yes there are my favorite ones too the grain, halation and bloom you can easily edit your pictures and add this nice filmic look to it it feels just like a computer version the pros this plugin is a necessary tool if you're interested about film emulation you can do halation, bloom and grain with these adjustments in Lightroom only there are a lot of great and popular film presets so you can pick the best for your taste you can save your setting so later you can apply to other pictures too easy to use and the results are stunning cons I think this software has only one con and this is book actions in Lightroom you can't apply the settings to multiple pictures at once you have to do it one by one so it's a little bit time consuming if you have to edit hundreds of pictures it can slow your process down but if you have time to perfect the picture it's a very great tool overall I think this is the best plugin I've ever used you can spice up your photography and it brings in another level if you want to achieve unique look nowadays I recommend to try it easily it can be your favorite too and that's all for today if you like film emulation you can get 10% off of Dehancer if you use my code thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe I hope you enjoyed and see you guys in the next one Peace.